I've been making content for over four and a half years now. I've made thousands of videos and I've made thousands of mistakes, but I've also learned thousands of lessons. And so in this video, I wanna share some of those important lessons that will hopefully inspire you, motivate you, reposition you on the right track so that you move forward in the direction that you wanna go in to achieve what you wanna achieve. Right, first point, most important, only thing I want you to take away. You need to spend more time on your ideas. Ideas are easily the most important thing that you can focus on as a content creator. Forget about the bells and whistles, forget about the fancy editing, put more time into your ideas, please. Because I used to do none of this. I used to barely spend time developing my ideas or thinking about them or making them better. I would just come up with an idea and just do it. And yes, there's nothing wrong with that. But as I look back and look back at my progress, it wasn't really there. And there's me wondering why I'm not growing, why I'm not getting the views that I want, why I'm not getting more followers because I wasn't actually pushing myself to make better content through working on my ideas. And so what did I start to do? I started looking at other people's ideas. I started gathering lists of inspirational creators that were churning out lots of videos on stuff that I would make videos on. And then I also started finding creators that just inspired me. They created cool content. They edited the videos in the way that I wish I could only edit in. And then as time has gone on, I have just started to merge everybody's styles and ideas into my own style and my own ideas. So I'm now able to produce what I think is all right content when it comes to taking an idea and executing it into my own style. But the problem you're going to face is that you're going to compare yourself to others. You're gonna think that you're not good enough. In reality, you just need to accept that your first videos and your first six to 12 months of creating are gonna be your worst. You're gonna suck. You're not gonna feel super proud of your videos, or maybe you will, but you're gonna look back on them and think, wow, I was so bad. And if you don't, if you don't actually look back at your old videos and think they're bad, then I would question how much you are actually progressing. You want to cringe at your old videos. You want to look at them and think, wow, I've come a long way here because those are terrible. Because you need to accept that your first videos are gonna be your worst, you know? And that is part of the problem of starting is that we kind of know that. We know they're gonna be really bad. But the reality is, even if you progress to then them not being bad, Hello, welcome back to another video. My even your future self will look back at them and still think they're bad. Like, I look at my videos from three months ago and think they're bad. I look at my videos from two years ago and think they're terrible. And you know what? I used to just not put stuff out into the world because I was so scared of being judged because I thought it was so bad. I would have an idea in the moment and think, wow, this is great. I want to make a video on this. And then, you know, I wouldn't then progress to like filming and recording, etc. And then as time went on, the doubts would set in and that idea that I thought was really good in the moment became less and less appealing to make a video on because I would convince myself that it's a stupid idea. And then I realized just stop overthinking it. Stop comparing yourself to others, Ben. You are not where other people are. We fall into that trap of looking at people that have been doing content and making videos for five, 10 years, and we wanna be where they're at like that. And it's just not realistic. This is your journey, this is your story, and this is your progression. And part of that is gonna be you putting yourself out into the world in a somewhat vulnerable way because you know that potentially the videos aren't that good. You maybe have imposter syndrome and you've got this fear of being judged, but that is part of the process. And when you have those moments of inspiration for your own ideas, jump on it, get your camera out and start recording, reduce the barriers to entry, because that is one of the biggest problems that we all face. If you create barriers to filming, you use them as an excuse to not film. And you don't need fancy equipment because in the creative space, we often think that, you know, better cameras, better this, better that is going to make our videos better. When in reality, they don't actually make them that much better because they are nothing to do with the idea, the concept, the storytelling. All of the important things come before recording. And it's safe to say that I have fallen into that trap. And you know what? Fall into that trap, for sure, why not? 
but don't expect it to get you results. And what I would actually recommend is to instead invest in your education and your workflow. The workflow was a big one for me. I used to come home from work tired, unmotivated, and I would have to make a video. And I actually switched my whole workflow to make that easier, to reduce the barriers. I made sure everything was set up. My lights, my microphone it didn't look aesthetically pleasing. And it's the same with this room now because I am reducing the barriers so that it's just easy for me to jump on those ideas and film. I also changed the workflow slightly where instead of me recording the video, I just recorded a voiceover. I recorded the voiceover of my script. I put that onto my timeline and then I started edited on top of it. And then once the edit was nearly there, I was like, now all I need to do is record my video. And that just helped me so much in getting over that barrier to just making more content. However, if I am going to recommend two pieces of equipment, it would be a good microphone and also good lighting. If you want some recommendations for some good brands for microphones, then I would say either Shaw, Rode, Elgato, or DJI. And then for lights, look at Amaran, Godox, Smallrig, or Niwa. But don't get carried away because perfectionism is a big trap in content creation, not only in video production, but also in the editing process. And the sooner that you can realize that, the better, because perfectionism is only gonna stop you from creating more content and pushing out more videos. Because trust me, I have spent thousands of hours like obsessing over those fine details. And I have realized when it comes to editing, the bells and whistles, the things that take you five hours for like 10 seconds of this minute detail that nobody even sees are a waste of time. Set a deadline, give yourself some time constraints, stick to it, post a video and move on because you'll learn more from doing more rather than obsessing over fine details. What you need to get good at when it comes to editing is just figuring out how to deliver the video at the right pace. What's the right music to use, sound effects. It's not all about chop, 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 flash, 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 flash. Sometimes slow and basic can be beautiful if you're telling a good story. Again, it goes back to the idea phase. If you've got a good idea, you can build a good story and you barely need any editing. And if you take away anything from this video, as well as the idea part at the start, go to the channels, the editing podcast and digital spaghetti and consume all of those videos. And this is not gonna be fun, you know. I know and you know that we would rather spend our time doing other things than watching people talk about editing. However, I know that you want results and you want success. And this is what you have to do sometimes. You have to do the long, boring stuff. And watching all of the videos from these channels will teach you everything that you need to know. They will teach you far more than learning some technical tutorial in Premiere Pro, CapCut or DaVinci on how to do this, this and this and this for two seconds and it just is meaningless. Learn how the top editors and filmmakers and videographers are making their videos and listen to how they break down their stuff. Take notes, don't just put this on the side and like consume it passively whilst you're doing something else. Spend dedicated time actually learning from these people. And I guarantee you will move a lot faster than everybody else around you that isn't doing it. And so here we are back at the beginning, but also at the end. And what do I see when I look into this glass? I see emptiness, but what I also see is a small river that's flowing. Oh, I'm talking shit, but stay with me here. We don't want that river to stop. We wanna keep on progressing. We wanna keep on moving forward. And no matter what views our videos get, we will not let that get to us because numbers are a content creation's demons. Everybody obsesses over them. I have religiously obsessed over my numbers for many, many years until now where I actually feel free of them. I used to have such a narrow mindset on the performance of one video, but then when I take a step back and look at it retrospectively, one video was just one video. And if that one video is now one video in a thousand, why did I ever let myself get caught up in getting frustrated over one video in a thousand? It doesn't make sense. 
But I get it, it's hard. We all live in the moment and it's sometimes difficult to think about how our future self would retrospectively look back at our old self and evaluate how we were dealing stuff in the present day based off future events happening and us making more videos and it only being one in a thousand and then thinking to ourselves, why would we let it stress us out? And so when I look back and ask myself, what would I say to my future self? It would be if the reach is not what you want it to be right now, focus on what you do have. Focus on your community, the people around you, the people supporting you, networking, learning, fostering relationships with people that you relate to and enjoy the journey because life is not a race and neither is content creation. And so just post, learn, progress, reflect, engage and just keep on going.